I said last time that English is kind of curious and wonderful. Yet sometimes it's just plain weird. For example, look at the word weird. How do we spell it? W-E-I-R-D. I thought it was I before E, except after C. The spelling of weird is weird. <laughs> That's crazy. In fact, English gets a bit weird on how we say and write numbers as well. For example, here's our good friend 273, and there's nothing weird here. 200, yes, 70, T was 10, that's fine, and 3. All good and grand. But let me take away one of those 10s. Let me make it 6 10s instead, so I'll change this to a 6. What do we write and say for that number? Well, it'll basically be the same. It's a 200, and this time we say 60. Instead of 70, we now say 60. Nothing weird there. That's fine and good. All right. Okay, let's take away another one of these dots from the tens place. Let's make this a five instead. And now how do we say and write this number? We say 200 and, well, if English were consistent, we said 70, then we said 60, we should say 5T. We should say 5T, 253. But no, 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 no one says 5T. Don't be silly, James. We have to say 50 instead. That's actually weird. Okay, let's keep going. Let's take another dot here from the tens place. Let's make that a four. What do we say and write now? Well, we say that number is 243. Okay, nothing strange there. We do 40, great, 40. Except you spell the, word, the number four with a U, but for 40, no, 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 no one spells 40 with a U. Take that out, James, don't be silly. That's weird. All right, let's keep going. I'm having fun. Let's take away another one of these 10 place dots. Let's make that a three there. All right, how do we write and say that number? Well, if English were consistent, it should be 203 T3. Three T is what we should write and say, but we don't. No one says three T. You have to say 30 instead. That's hard. That's weird. All right, I'm having fun. Let's go down again another dot in that tens place. What do we say and write for this number? Two, two, three. Okay, if English were consistent, it should be 202 T3, two tens and three. Two T just sounds too weird. No one dares says two T. You have to say 20 instead. This is actually kind of weird. All right, let's keep going. In fact, this next one is extra weird. Let's go down one more dot there, make that a one in the middle. Okay, what do we say and write for that number? We should say 201 T3. That would be perfectly good sense, but no one says 1 T3, 201 T3. What do we say instead? We say something really strange. We say 213. Whoa, we don't mention the, the tens at all. We say 213. This is crazy, because that's not this picture. 213 would be 200s, yes, I've got that, and then I'm meant to do 13. Okay, there's no mention of 10s, I'm meant to have 13 ones instead. So what we say is this. We say this number is 213, which is extra weird for a 10 one machine, because it means we've got more than 10 dots in that box. We say, we pronounce this number as 213 with more than 10 dots in that box, but look what we write. We write 213. We write it as though 10 of those had exploded to become one dot here. Whoa, this is totally inconsistent. What we write in terms of the math is 200s, 110, and three ones, but what we say is completely different, 200s and 13 ones. That is extra weird. Okay, so English does allow me to have more than 10 dots in a box sometimes. So let me have some fun. Let me put more than uh, 10 dots in this box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Let me put 13 dots there instead. All right. Okay, well, English like that. This would be the number. I don't know how to write it now. Uh, two hundreds. I'll do a little vertical line to separate. 13 tens and 3. I guess I would pronounce it as... 200, if English were consistent, 213 T, 13 T, 3. There it is. That actually makes perfectly good sense. But of course English says, no, 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 you can't have 13 dots in a box. Well, hang on, you just did a moment ago. You let me have 13 dots over here. Probably this is a no, no. You're not gonna have 13 dots there. And they say, no, 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 James, 10 of them must explode away and leave, what, three behind? Yes, 10 explode, kaboom, disappear, 
and a dot appears there instead. So really you say this number is 333. Oh, you don't say 3T, 333. Okay, English is all over the place. In fact, let me do another example. I think I'm going to go, going to go extra crazy with this idea. I'm having fun. Back in just a moment. Okay, I've drawn a little place value diagram, my 10 run machine, for the ones, tens, hundreds, to the thousands this time. And now I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to put 12 dots here and I'm going to have 12 thousands. I'm going to put 12 dots here and have 12 hundreds. I'm going to put 12 dots here and have 12 tens. I'm going to put 12 dots there and have 12 ones. There's my new crazy number. And let me write it out in English. It is, if I write it out in full, it's 12,000, literally, there it is, 1,200, 1,200, uh, 12 tens is 12 T, 12 T, 12. There it is. There's the number 12,200, 12 T, 12. Okay, here's my point. Most of that actually sounds okay to our ears. 12,000, that actually sounds okay. People do say 12,000. Great, 1,200, that actually sounds okay to my ears as well. People really do say 1,200. 12T, no one says 12T, don't be silly James, no one says 12T. And they'll go, and 12, people do say and 12. Whoa, three quarters of this number is actually acceptable to our English language. It's just that one people don't like. This is all over the place. English is just weird. Now, of course, the question I want to know now is, uh, what number is that really in a way that society would accept? Um, yeah, what number is that? Well, I guess 10 dots here would explode, kaboom, and leave two behind. So I have two dots left behind, and I'll get an extra dot over here. So I guess it's now 13 there. All right, this is actually fun to work out. Okay, um, 10 dots here would explode, kaboom, and leave three behind. And there's an extra dot over there, three left behind. So now I've got 13 dots here. All right, great, 13 dots there. Oh, 10 of those would explode and leave three behind. Kaboom, make a dot there, leave three behind, make an extra dot there. And then finally, 13 dots here, uh, that's great. Except 10 would explode, kaboom, make an extra dot here, uh, extra dot there, leaving three behind. Three, make an extra dot there, write one. Okay, 12,212 12 is really this number, which is, <laughs> English is weird, watch out. How do we say this number out loud? We say, not one ten thousand, three thousand. We say, no, 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 bring it back, make it what it was. Keep it as 13,332. Oh my goodness, English is very inconsistent and strange and weird. All right, if English gets to be weird, then I think we should get to be weird too. It's only fair.